All right, today we're gonna to show you a little drill that we're using to correct the um, first pull. A lot of you guys mess up right off the floor. You let the bar drift forward, your butt flies up, and then um, that ends up being something that's really hard to correct You know, in the second and third pulls. You know, if you get the first pull correct, the second pull is even better, and then the third pull is even better. It sets up the next two pulls. And so we're doing a halt into a full mo movement. Now the, um, the halt is an isometric contraction, so it's the best way on earth to actually strengthen a joint at a specific angle. So when you're halting at the knee, it, gives, it slows the movement down, so it allows you to focus on sweeping the bar back, keeping the chest up, and keeping the bar close to you. And when you're doing the full movement, you're just kind of trying to pull it as hard as you can, which is you know, good and bad. And if you're getting the bar back and everything's going well, then by all means accelerate as fast as you can. But if you're pulling as hard as you can and the bar's going forward, well then that's not good because you're missing the lift. So this is, um, I like this drill where you do the halt to the full motion into the full motion. A little bit better than just doing the halt or the pauses at the knee because a lot of times just doing the pauses at the knee will end up causing um, the athlete to mess up their timing. So this is something I came up with where we kind of get the best of both worlds. You know, and each of them, like, it's not just you guys who are beginners out there. This is for our advanced people. You know, normally when Meredith misses a lift, it's because off the floor she's forwards. So this is um, Ann Jordan. Uh, and Jordan is uh, actually, even though he can snatch probably more than anyone on my team, he's so inconsistent. It's, it has been up to this point really hard for him to make those big lifts in, at big meets. So this is a, a drill I came up with to um, actually really perfect that uh, consistency. So we want him to make sure that off the floor his chest is staying up and the bar is going back. Now you're going to see the different bar paths. You know, I did this with Iron Path, you know, as far as the app goes. And you'll see that everyone's a little different. But here's the key. It doesn't really matter as long as wherever the bar starts that it finishes either right above, but preferably behind the original vertical line. Now, Nathan has a traditional uh, straight pull, and, um, you know, we're working on, you know, when we have more off-season time, we're working on getting the bar back, you know, and, and staying, you know, back more. Because even on his clean, even though he's probably the best cleaner in the nation doing 220 kilos at, at 96 kilos, you know, the, the mistake he makes sometimes, even on his clean, is catching it forwards, and it makes the, makes the stand-up and the jerk a little harder than it has to be. So, and that goes for all my athletes. Just working on this initial push with the feet and squeeze with the lats. That's the key. You don't really want to think about the snatch or the clean as a, uh, as a pull. You want to think more that you're pushing. Just that simple cue will actually cause the, will, makes things easier as far as keeping the bar close and keeping the chest up. When you think pull, a lot of times you're pulling and your arms will engage, your butt will fly up. It's just a little bit of a different, you know, external cue versus, you know, the cue of pulling. Just thinking, pushing with the feet, squeezing with the lats. You don't even have to say with the lats, just say push and squeeze, meaning push with the feet, squeeze with the lats.